Where was Mr. Blackshear sleeping? Uh, we shared a room. So you were living together as a couple? As friends. As friends. Yes. Were you sharing a bed? We were sharing a bed. That's an interesting friendship. <laughs> First three months, Mr. Blackshear did not pay rent. That he agrees. Correct, sir? Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, to a certain degree, I agree with that. Well, you said that in your well, complaint, yeah, well, in your um, answer. Like, I didn't pay, I didn't start actually paying rent until November, and I moved in September. Why didn't you pay her, sir? Well, at the time when I had moved in, I didn't have a job. I, I wasn't completely broke. And then you say that he broke three picture frames when you uh, had an uh, argument. He had paid me $50 short of the July's rent. So when this debate came about the $50, I said, I think it would be best for you just to leave at the end of this month, the end of July, instead of staying an additional month because I'm tired of, you know, bickering. And um, when I said that, he became irate, and I took the clothes out of um, my drawer in my room. He, he had his clothes in there. And I threw them on the floor. I said, get them out of my room. And um, he said, oh, you want to throw things? So he picked up, I had two glass candles. He uh, threw the candles at the wall, um, thus breaking the pictures. But you threw his clothes on the floor first. I, I did throw his clothes on the floor, but I, I threw his clothes on the floor to get them out of the room. I didn't, I didn't damage anything. They were sweatpants. Pretty. You lost your temper. He lost his temper. The property that you're complaining about is not very expensive property. You say that it's worth $100. They're not even worth $100. What happens when you lose your temper? You took his clothes. He says you disrespected his property. You took his property, threw it on the floor. So he picked up something of yours, and he threw it on the floor or the wall, and it broke your thing. That's too bad. You owe her $1,522 for rent. Nobody has to pay for What's you. common sense is that you would have said to her at some point, listen, I don't have the rent. As soon as I start working, I'll pay you for the rent. And you started working, and you did pay her for the rent, but you didn't pay her what you owed her. Not that good looking. Charge him for the plane.